The Fountain of Youth is mentioned in many mythologies throughout history, and it is believed to restore youth in anyone who touches it. This magazine is intended to represent the reader touching these mythical waters since its whole purpose is to explore the inner child. As I've grown up, I've clearly seen this dichotomy between my childhood and my early adult years. In my experience, children, they seem to be more carefree and expressive, exploratory and curious. But adults, they see the world more seriously. They're focused on the deadlines, they're focused on paying bills, they're focused on their responsibilities, and some are even focused on following the status quo and doing what society thinks is right. Being 22 years old, I've realized that my childlike spirit has kind of hidden itself away, and the world just doesn't seem or feel as vibrant as it did when I was a kid. The inner child is a representation of our childlike spirit and imagination. It gives us this ability to play and to wonder and to dream, which are very significant aspects of our psychological well-being. But there's this other half of the inner child that's this compilation of our childhood wounds. and. Ignoring our needs and our well-being can cause these wounds to resurface in pretty nasty ways. And just overall, steering away from our authenticity can cause our inner child to go into hiding. This can lead to feelings of sadness, emptiness, just like there's this inexplicable something that's missing from our lives. I wanted to create this magazine to artistically show the complexities of the inner child and how it can be applied to a real person. So much planning and intention went into everything and I was wearing so many hats. I was communicating with talent, I was writing contracts, signing contracts, planning the set design, sourcing clothes, styling outfits, directing photo shoots, I was working with printers on color management, I was I was spending hours iterating the graphic design. I was even learning to cake decorate and learning how to clean the most tarnished black silver I have ever seen in my whole life. All of my work was formed into six distinct sections of the magazine. To start off, you have A Child in Your Shadow, which is the first article in the magazine, and it covers the inner child through a psychological lens. It goes into some history, it talks about how it develops and how it translates into the adult life. All of the following articles, they explore how the inner child relates to my own life. I talk about my childhood in Teen Wonderland, I talk about how society has influenced my worldview and under the influence. In Reflections of Self, I talk about how trauma has changed my outlook on myself, and I explore how I've realized we live inside of a system in Uncovering the Veil. The last article is called Pockets Full of Posies, and in this one, I talk about how I'm currently reconnecting with my inner child and my inner youth, and I also list some practices that the reader can do if they want to build their own relationship with their inner child. One of the first things you'll probably notice is that there is a variation of design choices throughout each section of the magazine, and I do this intentionally because the inner child is so complex, I just don't think that there's one way that it can be represented. My inner child is very happy that I created this magazine. It was so creatively and artistically challenging and I am just so proud about how it turned out. This is, this is definitely something that I'm gonna hold on to forever.